Five in the morning, I work for my shift. To be there for six, I had to be swift. I got there in time and I clocked myself in. I picked up my pit lamp, my check and snap tin. Tom was a good mate I'd known thirty years. We grew up together, scraped skin and shed tears. Down we descended. Into the gloom, two miles below where it could be your tomb. It was just ten o'clock when the word got around. Something had happened. Something profound. Was mentioned the school we heard too. We stood there in shock, didn't know what to do. Everyone up! The shout rang through the mine. The slag heap collapsed at a quarter past nine. The school was under both debris and spoil from the mountain created by years of hard toil. The sight that met us was straight out of hell. The slime was so deep. From the floor to school bell, women were screaming, hands covered in blood, as they tore with their bare hands to take through the flood. Pain, panic, grief were etched on each face as we started to dig with a furious pace. An army of people were now at the scene. Fresh hands were digging just where we had been. We both had our children there, Tom and I. If we didn't act quickly. Our youngsters would die. Looking over at Tom, his face lined with white streaks, where tears of anguish had run down his cheeks. Quiet, someone cried, but nothing was heard. Just the fall of a rain, not even a bird. I'd had a bad feeling since leaving the pit. I was fearing the worst. I had to admit. I searched for my wife among the huge crowd. Pushed through the people. Called her name out loud. Walked back to my house much later that night. My wife rushed toward me and hugged me so tight. I tried to find you, but you weren't in sight. I needed to tell you our kids are all right. They both had flu symptoms. She started to say, so I thought the best thing was to keep them away. I fell down on my knees. I broke down in tears. 
I prayed to God for the first time in years. The doorbell rang. Tom stood outside. That big man, he fell into my arms and cried. There's nobody left. My children have gone. We just don't know how we can go on. Life in Aberfan after would be hell. Ever since the day that the mountain fell.